Welcome to Maths Companion. Let us recall what we have learned in the last video. We have seen x plus 1 into y plus 1 equal to xy plus x plus y plus 1. x plus 2 into y plus 2 equal to xy plus 2 into x plus y plus 4. x plus 3 into y plus 3 equal to xy plus 3 into x plus y plus 9 x plus 4 into y plus 4 equal to xy plus 4 into x plus y plus 16. In general, we have seen x plus a into y plus a equal to xy plus a into x plus y plus a square. There were three homeworks. Let us check the answer now. 21 into 31. This can be written as 20 plus 1 into 30 plus 1. And this can be written as 20 into 30 plus 20 plus 30 plus 1. 20 into 30 is 600 plus 20 is 620 plus 30 is 650 plus 1 is 651. Second problem 52 into 72. This can be written as 50 plus 2 into 70 plus 2 and this is equal to 50 into 70 plus 2 into 50 plus 70 plus 4. 50 into 70 is 3500 50 plus 70 is 120 120 into 2 is 240 plus 4 3500 plus 240 is 3740 plus 4 is 3744 third problem 24 into 54 this can be written as 20 plus 4 into 50 plus 4 this is equal to 20 into 50 plus 4 into 20 plus 50 plus 16. 20 into 50 is 1000. 20 plus 50 is 70. 70 into 4 is 280 plus 16. Today, let us do the problems on page 68 and 69. First problem. Write numbers like this. As in the calendar, mark 4 numbers in a square and find the difference of diagonal products. Is it the same for all squares of 4 numbers? Explain why this is so using algebra. Let us first write the numbers. I have marked some squares of 4 numbers here. Let us find the diagonal products. 1 into 7 is 7. 6 into 2 is 12. What is the difference between them? 12 minus 7 is 5. Now let us take the second square of 4 numbers. 9 into 15 is 135, 14 into 10 is 140 and what is the difference between them? Again 5. Let us take the third square of four numbers. 16 into 22 is 352, 21 into 17 is 357 and what is the difference between them? Again 5. So we can see that when we take square of four numbers like this, the difference of the diagonal product is always same and that is equal to 5. Therefore, the first part of the answer is yes. Now let us explain using algebra why this is so. Let the first number be x. When the first number is 1, second number is 2. When the first number is 9, second number is 10. When the first number is 16, second number is 17. What is the relation between the first number and the second number? The second number is 1 more than the first number. Therefore, if the first number is x, second number is 1 more than x or x plus 1. Now, what about the third number? 1 plus 5 is 6. 9 plus 5 is 14. 16 plus 5 is 21. Therefore, the third number is 5 more than the first number. Therefore, if x is the first number, third number is 5 more than x or x plus 5. Now, let us find out the relation between the first number and the fourth number. 1 plus 6 is 7, 9 plus 6 is 15, 16 plus 6 is 22. Therefore, the fourth number is 6 more than the first number. That is, if x is the first number, then the fourth number is 6 more than x or x plus 6. 
So let us take the four numbers as x, x plus 1, x plus 5 and x plus 6. Now let us find the diagonal product x into x plus 6. x into x is x square, x into 6 is 6x. So x into x plus 6 equal to x square plus 6x. Now the second diagonal product x plus 1 into x plus 5 x into x or x square x into 5 or 5x 1 into x x 1 into 5 5 so this can be written as x square plus 5x plus x plus 5 5x plus x is 6x so this can be written as x square plus 6x plus 5 now look at these two expressions this is x square plus 6x this is x square plus 6x plus 5. Clearly this is 5 more than this. That means x plus 1 into x plus 5 is 5 more than x into x plus 6. Therefore the difference is always 5. Now let us take the third part of this problem. Instead of a square of 4 numbers, take a square of 9 numbers and mark only the numbers at the 4 corners. What is the difference of diagonal products? Explain using algebra. First of all, let us write numbers. Let us take a square of 9 numbers 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13. Mark the numbers at the four corners 1, 3, 11 and 12. Now let us find the diagonal product. 1 into 13 is 13. 11 into 3 is 33. What is the difference between them? 33 minus 13 is 20. Now let us take another square of 9 numbers 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14. The numbers at the corners are 2, 4, 12 and 14. Let us find the diagonal product. 2 into 14 is 28. 12 into 4 is 48. Difference between them is 20. Now let us take another square of 9 numbers 3, 4, 5. 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15. The numbers at the corners are 3, 5, 13, 15. Let us find the diagonal products. 3 into 15 is 45. 13 into 5 is 65. The difference between them is 20. Like this, if you take a square of 9 numbers and if the diagonal product of the numbers at the corners are found, the difference is always 20. Therefore, we can say the difference is always 20. Now, let us explain this using algebra. Let me take the first number as x. When the first number is 1, second number is 3. When the first number is 2, second number is 4. When the first number is 3, second number is 5. That means second number is 2 more than the first number. Therefore, if x is the first number, then second number is 2 more than x or x plus 2. Now when the first number is 1, third number is 11. When the first number is 2, third number is 12. When the first number is 3, third number is 13. That is, third number is 10 more than the first number. Therefore, if x is the first number, third number is 10 more than x or x plus 10. Now let us look at the first number and the fourth number. When the first number is 1, fourth number is 13, 1 plus 12 is 13. When the first number is 2, fourth number is 14, 2 plus 12 is 14. When the first number is 3, fourth number is 15, 3 plus 12 is 15. That means the fourth number is 12 more than the first number. If x is the first number, then fourth number is 12 more than x or x plus 12. Therefore, we can take the four numbers at the corners as x, x plus 2, x plus 10 and x plus 12. Now, let us find the diagonal products x into x plus 12. x into x is x square, x into 12 is 12x. So, this can be written as x square plus 12x. Now, let us find the second diagonal product x plus 2 into x plus 10. x into x is x square x into 2 is 2x, 10 into x is 10x, 10 into 2 is 20. 
Therefore, this can be written as x square plus 2x plus 10x plus 20. 2x plus 10x is 12x. Therefore, this can be written as x square plus 12x plus 20. Now, let us look at these two expressions x square plus 12x and x square plus 12x plus 20. Clearly, this is 20 more than this. That is, x plus 10 into x plus 2 is 20 more than x into x plus 12. Therefore, the difference between them is always 20. Second problem. In the multiplication table made earlier, take a square of 9 numbers instead of 4 and mark the numbers at the 4 corners. What is the difference of diagonal sums? Explain using algebra why this difference is same for all such squares. What if we take a square of 16 numbers? Let us take the multiplication table at first. This is the multiplication table. This is multiplication table of 1. This is multiplication table of 2. This is multiplication table of 3 and so on. Let us mark a square of 9 numbers like this. Now let us find the diagonal sums. 1 plus 9 is 10. 3 plus 3 is 6. And the difference between 10 and 6 is 4. Here the numbers at the corners are 20, 28, 30 and 42. 20 plus 42 is 62. 30 plus 28 is 58. 62 minus 58 is 4. Now let us look at this square of 9 numbers. 7 plus 27 is 34. 9 plus 21 is 30. The difference is 4. Checking like this we can say the difference of the diagonal sums is always 4. Now let us explain using algebra why the difference is always same. Let us take the multiplication table. This is the row numbers. First row, second row, third row, fourth row and so on. This is the column numbers. First column, second column, third column and so on. And this is our multiplication table. This is the multiplication table of 1. This is the multiplication table of 2 and so on. We have already seen that each number in this multiplication table is the product of its row number and column number. When we take 4, that is 4 into 1. If you take 12, that is 6 into 2. If you take 27, that is 9 into 3. So, if you take any number in this multiplication table, that is the product of its row number and column number. For example, if you take 45, the row number is 9 and column number is 5 and 45 is 9 into 5. Now, this is a square of 9 numbers. This number is in the first row. Then, this number is in the third row. Similarly, this number is in the fourth row and this is in the sixth row. That means, if the number at the first corner is in the xth row, then the number at this corner is in the x plus second row. Similarly, this number is in the first column and this number is in the third column. This is in the fifth column and this is in the seventh column. Therefore, if the first number is in the yth column, then this number is in the y plus second column. That means, when we take a square of 9 numbers and if the number at the first corner is in the xth row and yth column, then the numbers at the other corners are in x and x plus second rows and y and y plus second columns. So, let us write the row number and column number. Now we know each number in this multiplication table is the product of its row number and column number. The row number of this number is x and column number is y. Therefore, this is x into y or xy. This is x into y plus 2. This is x plus 2 into y and this is x plus 2 into y plus 2. Therefore, these are the four numbers at the four corners. x y x into y plus 2 x plus 2 into y x plus 2 into y plus 2. Now let us find the diagonal sums x y plus 
x plus 2 into y plus 2. x into y is xy. x into 2 is 2x. 2 into y is 2y. 2 into 2 is 4. So, this can be written as xy plus xy plus 2x plus 2y plus 4. xy plus xy is 2xy. So, this can be written as 2xy plus 2x plus 2y plus 4. Now, let us find the other diagonal sum x into y plus 2 plus x plus 2 into y. x into y is xy, x into 2 is 2x, y into x is xy, y into 2 is 2y. So, this can be written as xy plus 2x plus xy plus 2y. xy plus xy is 2xy. Therefore, this can be written as 2xy plus 2x plus 2y. Now, let us look at these two expressions. This is 2xy plus 2x plus 2y and this is 2xy plus 2x plus 2y plus 4. Clearly, this is 4 more than this. That is why the difference of the diagonal sums is always 4. Now, the third part, what if we take a square of 16 numbers? Let us take the multiplication table once again. Let us take a square of 16 numbers. This number is in the first row. And this number is in the fourth row. This number is in the fifth row and this is in the seventh row. One, two, three. Three rows are added to reach at this row. That means if this is in the xth row, then this number is in the x plus third row. Similarly, this is in the first column and this is in the fourth column. This is in the 5th column and this is in the 8th column. 1, 2, 3. 3 columns are added to reach at this column. Therefore, if the first number is in the yth column, then this number is in the y plus 3rd column. Now, we know each number is the product of its row number and column number. Here, the row number is x and column number is y. Therefore, this number is xy. This is x into y plus 3. This is x plus 3 into y. This is x plus 3 into y plus 3. Therefore, these are the numbers at the four corners. That is, the numbers at the four corners are xy, x into y plus 3, x plus 3 into y and x plus 3 into y plus 3. Now, let us find the diagonal sum xy plus x plus 3 into y plus 3 x into y is xy, x into 3 is 3x, 3 into y is 3y, 3 into 3 is 9. So, we can write xy plus xy plus 3x plus 3y plus 9. xy plus xy is 2xy. So, this can be written as 2xy plus 3x plus 3y plus 9. Now, let us find the second diagonal sum x into y plus 3 plus x plus 3 into y x into y is xy, x into 3 is 3x, x into y is xy, 3 into y is 3y. So, this can be written as xy plus 3x plus xy plus 3y. xy plus xy is 2xy. So, this can be written as 2xy plus 3x plus 3y. Now, look at these two expressions. This is 2xy plus 3x plus 3y. This is 2xy plus 3x plus 3y plus 9. Clearly, this is 9 more than this. Therefore, the difference of the diagonal sums is always 9. Today, we have done some problems on page 68 and 69. Now, there is a homework. Look at this. 1 into 4 equal to 2 into 3 minus 2. 2 into 5 equal to 3 into 4 minus 2. 3 into 6 equal to 4 into 5 minus 2. 4 into 7 equal to 5 into 6 minus 2. Write the next two lines in this pattern. If we take four consecutive natural numbers, what is the relation between the products of the first and the last and the product of the middle two? Write this as a general principle in algebra and explain it. In the next video, we shall discuss the remaining problems. Till then, bye.